Good morning, guys. Good morning, girls. Good morning. In this part of the city, the aspirations haven't always been as big as they should have been in the past, and therefore one of our jobs is to say to these young people, you can dream. Oh, he tried. Yeah, hey, I'll stay there. Oh. It's about delivering hope to young people in this area and getting them to aspire for great things. I mean, nobody gets up in the morning and aspires to be average. What do you think of this idea? Having, starting with year 10s, head boy and head girl, voted for by staff yes. and by students, they'd have to pitch to us all. Love it. Really handing power back to kids. Take with the voting as well. Come on, let's get in. Get some learning done, big John Joe. Some good growth there. The tash. <laughs> it's 8.30. Right, OK, good morning, Year 10. Well done, girls in the middle. <laughs> Head teacher Mr Povey has called a special assembly for the school's Year 10 students. The reason I want to talk to you this morning is you're the new phase of this school's journey. You, you, yes, all of you in this room are going to raise the bar at this school. You will take us to another level. The person who is head boy or head girl is representing this school. Listen up, please. I realise you're talking about this, but I really want to say this to you. This is about the best person for the job. Anybody can apply. Your past does not matter. Your future matters. It's a great job to have. It will give you an advantage in life. And there's going to be support available for anybody that wants to write that application. If you want one, Grab one on the way out from members of staff here. Thanks very much. Have a great day. You want your all to apply, please. Let's be brilliant as we always are. Come on, everyone, take one. Tuesday to me, please. Thank you, love At first, what was going through my mind was, if I go for this, am I going to get made fun of? I'm already sort of on the border of, like, yeah, she is the nerd in this year. She's, like, what a loser. If I did get... Head girl, I'll be, I wouldn't stop crying for the rest of the day. I'll like be over the moon about it. You? Are you, Are you going to apply? You, you should do it. I think you'd be decent. Have you got a letter? Yeah, I got letter. Sweet. You're thinking about it? Good man. Good man. I think I can bring a change or something. Then I would like, like a bring in the discipline. That's why I would I'll run for a head boy. You could be inspirational. You could be. You could be. One teacher charged with organising the head boy and head girl competition is Miss Shanks. At the minute you might think you're not able to. We don't want the perfect package now. We want people that have got passion and got drive and want to do it and then we can help you in things that you need help with. I came from a school very similar to Harriet myself and I'm from a council estate, single parent. I've got the same backstory as most of these students so when, when they sit there and they say to me, I'm not going to do anything because I'm just from here. I get so frustrated about it because it's like you can do anything with your life as long as you work hard. Okay, shh. Um, we're going to go over some metals. Give me the names of some of them really, really quickly. Iron. Iron. Give me another one. Beryllium. What one? Beryllium. Fabulous, okay. Year 10 students Josh and Leon are in Miss Millen's top set science. What have all those metals got in common? Metals, what are the properties? They're sonorous. They are sonorous. Do you want to explain that word, Leon? When you hit them, it, it, it goes ding or something yep. like that. We've known each other for a long time. Not really been the, the best of friends, but we've always gone for the same things like health monitors in primary school and then student council here. He's the one that could get in the way of me potentially getting the head boy role. Metals solid at room temperature. Oh, Which one's it. not? Mercury. Mercury. Hey. Okay. Yeah, Leon wants to win. I want to win. That, that's rivalry. It is best. There's your pens. <laughs> Do you want to start having a look? Oh, bless you, Billy. <laughs> Josh is late, isn't he? Thirteen students expressed an interest in the head boy role, but Josh and Leon have some experience that may give them the edge. They are the chair and vice chair of the school's student council. So we're discussing fundraising Friday. You all right, Josh? We say the chair for you. I thought that was for the head teacher. It is his chair, but you know, we're all the head of student council, so please take the seats. 
should take a picture for prosperity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not after your job, sir, but... This chair does quite suit me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should take that, Josh. I think that's brilliant. OK, so fundraising Friday. We do have a pop-up restaurant. Mm. Uh, you've put your name down for that, haven't yeah, you, Josh? Yeah, I'm volunteering all day. Hospitality, yeah, brilliant. Miss Maddox kind of wanted me to go for chair, so I became chair and Leon became, like, a vice chair. So we need to approach some teachers. Who's going to do that? I'll do that. Thank you, Josh. Fabulous. My ambition in life is to help people and then eventually go into local politics and try make it to the top. One day, be the Prime Minister of this great nation. Halt! Take one. You are welcome. Take another one. Thank you. There. Take one. Josh and Leon work together great as a team and I think they're learning off each other. Take one. Yeah. You are welcome. And that, my friend, is how you do it. You can actually say, oh, Leon, we just need to do this. Uh, uh, we've got nothing prepared, can you do it? Yeah, I can do that. And he can just do it off the top of his head. He's just a natural in front of an audience. I am the amazing Leon, and I am here to make sure that your voice is heard. Now, I'm not going to talk too long because this is my project. This is your classmates' project. I've always been an ambitious person. I remember when I was very young, I really wanted to be a vet or a doctor that wasn't going to work out because it, it was stressful. And then I went for things like uh, CEO of mega corporations or... Uh... Come on, you voice students. Yes! I've always wanted to have a job that will like, give me a lot of money so then I can repay my dad and my mum back for everything that they've done for me. Every dad wants his son to be better than what than what you've got in your life. That's what you aim for. That's, that's about being a parent, I think. Head boy hopeful Leon lives with his dad and sister. A nice bit of Hazlitt. It's poor man's sandwiches from many, many moons ago. My dad, um, at the moment, is a postman. He got into the job after he left the army. It tastes like roast dinner on a butty. My job. It's tough at times, especially when you're out in the bad weather. You've got your shorts on, you're freezing. Your sister ate your Kit Kat, so you can't have a Kit Kat today. Leon is a very driven kid. I'd like him to have a better life than what I've had. If they turn around to you and go, where? Within 20 seconds, can you just say why you want the position of head boy? So go ahead. What, no? Yeah. <laughs> Get you prepared for it. I think it's important that the kids do dream big because if they fall short of their big dreams, they're still going to land on their feet pretty well. So I've really focused and pushed for my child and Harrop sort of helped me and helped Leon to get there. Come on, let's go. So just keep going for it. Dream, dream, dream. We should be He's be better than a postman. <laughs> Year 10 students are in the middle of the head boy and head girl campaigns. Yeah. I look like a ghost. I need somebody who would like to be teacher for the morning. Me, yeah, I'll do it. What, Charles? I'll do yours. We'll swap. Head girl hopeful Chelsea is in history with Miss Shanks. I look at Chelsea and I think, gosh, you remind me so much of myself. Right, shh, listen to Miss. Go on, Molly, you had your hand up first. Oh, God. Ooh. I think she's fantastic and will go far in life, but sometimes I think she hasn't got that level of respect she deserves from other students. If you had listened to Molly, then you'd know. Oh, my God. I, I am not going to come back next lesson. I'm going to leave her to it. She has got this. Right, glue them in your box, for and against. A serious contender for head boy is year 10, Garan. First of all, I would just want to be a footballer. But when I went to the football, I just didn't like it. It was like, it was like, I didn't like the sport. It wasn't my sport. Go, don't come in. Look, look, come in, come forward. Then I went to boxing and I really enjoyed it. I just love it. And I started doing it and I just, it was, it became my passion. 
Yeah, I'm going to move towards you and move out the way, ready? Right. One, two, three. In order for him to become confident in what he does, uh, yeah, I let him hit me a couple of times. <laughs> he is very popular, but all for the right reasons. You know, he's from Afghanistan. His crew of friends, you know, they all look up to him. They all see him as an athlete. The head boy and head girl. It gives students now an opportunity to be leaders. And, you know, we're training them for their future, you know, whether it's in business or in society. I think it's going to open a lot of doors, not just for Leo and Josh and the girls like Rebecca. I'm going to continue with my fighting and I'll do politics as a, like my education. That's what I want to do. Because I just want to be a, like an awesome prison or something. Shh, 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 shh. There we go. I'm always a winner. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea enjoys spending her break and lunch times in the school's office. What have you got today? I got sandwiches, but my mum's got me my favourite buns, that bound cakes that I like. Great. I help out with the main office. When I was hanging around with my mates, I just get bored of doing the same thing all the time. So I wanted to change, and I just asked at the office, just came out, I went, have you got anything, <laughs> any jobs going? And then they said, yeah. What do you want to do when you leave school? I want to carry on working in Arrant Ford. So I've uh, taken over Julie Wright's job in the office. Or working in finance or working for the head teacher. How does Julie Wright feel about you being after her job? <laughs> she don't mind. <laughs> and what's that about? Head girl and head boy. Yay! Oh, wow. And I'm going to sign up for it. Oh, God. Really? I already done the notes. Oh, right, OK. What makes a good head girl? Tell us. Yeah, you tell us. <laughs> I'm good for it because at the end of the day, you don't get people like me doing stuff like I do. It's just like you're at the top of the pyramid, just showing everyone what it's got to be like. Have you give your letter, Rebecca? Yeah, yeah. Have you? Yeah. Is yours really cheesy? Oh, no. It's very powerful. For God's sake, is yours really cheesy? Mine's like overly cheap. Did you put, I know I'm never going to get it, but it would be nice to try. Who says any of you will be shortlisted anyway? <gasps> oh, wow. The students have submitted their letters of application. Mr Povey is meeting with the teachers on the selection panel. How's it going, everyone? It's hard. It's, it's good. Is it hard? It is, yeah. Are we stressing? Can I read you it's something? Really hard. No, this is ace. I hope you will take my application into strong consideration because if I was head boy, I would do nothing but work until my arms fell off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we think we might put him through just for the just comedy for the factor. Shape, yeah. well, these are really well written. The school have received 27 applications, but now I must shortlist the candidates to go head to head. Do you know what? They're talking about it constantly. Yeah. I love this because I'm thinking like Rebecca. Yeah. Her letters, yeah, brilliant. Letters. Leon. He's in the boys group over there. Josh. Goodness me, there's some great kids, aren't there? Yeah. OK, so there is a clear majority from staff voice, 44% um, plumping for Leon as her boy. Um, in terms of her girl, there's, uh, it's quite mixed, actually. There's no clear thing. So, Chelsea. I know that she does loads around the school, but is that because she's got, she's got herself into that position? So she's the go-to kind of person. Whereas but what elite... part, this is the thing I, I quarrel with. At what point are we going to give those students a chance who aren't the ones who are already at the front runners? This could be a big thing for their life. She's going to be a future leader 110%. Whether it's a teacher, whether it's a politician, whether it's working in Asda. But then why right. Who you voted for? No way on this earth I would tell any of you. So is the shortlist coming from the staff? And then the students vote for the ones out the shortlist. Students vote. Oh, that's what, just ruining it. Kind of My potential has decreased. Go ahead, Chelsea. I'll vote for you. Obviously, you've got your friends to support you, but you can get some students that just say 
you're always doing this for the teachers, why aren't you like us? And I just let that go over me because I don't want to react back. They'll call me names like that will relate to my hair and I'll just go, right, just leave it. At the end of the day, that's my hair colour. Just don't wear it out. <laughs> The shortlisted candidates will present their ideas to the whole of Year 10 in a debate. I got appointed last night. I'm an official beaver leader now. You're a beaver leader. Wow, leader of beavers. Of all the things, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Five people on the panel. They take these beavers seriously, don't they? But first, a panel of teachers and a school governor will interview them to prepare the students for the public platform. Do you want some elevator music in the background or anything? You can have our intro, can't Ambience. you? Like, That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Like wrestling theme tunes, yeah. like... I imagine him coming in, like, body <laughs> slamming the desk. <laughs> right, are we all happy? Yeah. Always happy. Yeah. Don't always know why. <laughs> Interview time. Yeah, so why are you embarrassed? Oh. First up, the girls. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Get some sweets for her. Do you want to come in, Elise? When we first started talking about head boy and head girl, I got a view from students and they just picked it up and they ran with it. We wanted our young people to look up at any career, any job, anything they dreamt that they could do at any time in their life to go, I could do that. I'm going to have a go at that. Why can't I do that? Students could do extra work because it's essential throughout the lessons. So first question is, why do you want to be head girl? I'd definitely be able to do it. <laughs> I've got no worries. <laughs> I think I'm quite honest and genuine and like, I don't know. I'm good at answering the phone and being polite on the phone whilst parents are phoning in. And I'm good to help out in like Reaper graphics as well, putting like paper on the shelves, <laughs> doing sort of printing for the members of the staff. Okay, thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. Oh, is it okay before I go show you the files of how much work I've been put in and the awards that I've got? Absolutely. She reminds me so much of me when she comes in with these little folders of I've done extra revision, I've done this, I've done that, and I'm like, Brill, keep going, it'll pay off. Like these are all the achievements that I've got so it could go on my CV and I'll show Miss Shanks all the time. The Citizen Award, which is a great one. Postcards of praise there. Achievement breakfast, brilliant. Certificates, she's got loads and loads and loads of them. You know, how pleased they are with off different teachers, reports. More achievement breakfast. How many achievement breakfasts have you had? <laughs> <laughs> Must be like there every day for an achievement breakfast. <laughs> all this off different people just goes to prove they can't all be wrong, can they? Well, you're a very organised young lady, aren't you? I like everything to be organised. Thank you for letting us see those. You, Surprised you're not applying for my job, Chelsea. <laughs> all right, thank you, sir. Oh, well done, Chelsea. <laughs> is it just all about your application letter? Is that what the Yeah, whole... and why you think you're good for the job? Uh, if there was anything now forward, what could you change? Like your positive attitude towards how it forward. What time is it? Becky, you gotta go. I'm going. Next up is Rebecca. I want it a lot, I think. I think it's just, I think it's a really good opportunity. I think it's a good thing to say as well. Like, I went in for something, I tried hard at it, I worked for it, and it just feels, it feels good. I want to be there for students. I want to sort of be like a, a second voice, like an echo. And then on a more selfish note, I have dyslexic type tendencies. So okay. I think if I can inspire other people who might think they couldn't do something just because of that. Which of course is what this whole school's built on, isn't it? Showing other people that you can overcome some of those adversities and challenges. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. You did well. It was. Was uh... you good? I hope so. <laughs> do you want hot chocolate? We're all doing hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, if you want one. Yeah. Could just go straight up to the Thank um Thank you, Chelsea. Library. You you were happy with your answers? I think so. <laughs> Grand, do you want a hot chocolate? Alright. And I loved your answer about overcoming adversity. It's a real key one. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank well you. done. I think I'd be surprised if Chelsea didn't get it. I don't think anyone would be bitter. I can't imagine anyone being bitter anyway. I know I wouldn't be. I'm gonna carry all this, guys. Do you know what I swear? I shouldn't have brought my files. Look, anyone could get it. Oh, that's like one nice hot chocolate, I swear. <laughs> I really need that. Guys, I just bit my tongue. 
It's the week of the head boy and head girl debate. Right, you got the pens, great. Right, I'll go get that stuff off me, so not need ping pong balls. Candidates Josh and Leon are running a break time student council fundraiser. Sir, Hi, sir. No, no work, carbon. No carbs? Yeah, pick one. Human fruit machine, over here. Take part. Human fruit machine, how much is it? 20 feet. Go get Harry Bow. Leon, you can have that. I don't eat sugars. Oh. Ooh, I want them really wet if I'm doing it. You ready, sir? Yeah. Oh. Sir, it's hurting me more than it's hurting you. Well done for today, ladies. Fantastic, as always. Well done, fantastic, Leon. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That was terrible throwing, Mr Taylor. Josh has stayed behind after the fundraiser to help clear up. Oh, so you think I've raised quite a bit of money? Yeah. Good. As I said, boy stuff, the fact that you're going for it is really good. And anyone who goes for it, the fact that they're giving it a go is what matters. I know, but... That's big career advice, really. I keep putting pressure on myself. I, I kind of do what I get head boy. But then, like, I also want to do all this stuff outside of school. Nice one, Josh. I'm very hands-on. Put on your CV, I cleaned up Mr Humphreys' mess. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, for example, sit on many youth committees within the city. I've got a meeting tonight. I've got a meeting Thursday night and a ward ceremony. Can you... I kind of wanted to win head boy, but when it comes to like having such a lot of stuff on my plate, you've kind of got to think who comes first, what comes first. It's a difficult decision, but I'm not doing head boy. Josh, you look pale. Come in, come in, come in. Have a seat. Josh has asked to speak to Mr Povey. What's happened? Do you want a drink? No, no. Josh, I've never quite seen you like this. What's, what's going on? I just can't. Josh, look at me. You've done a lot for this school. And I think that, as a school, we should make sure we do a lot for you. And I'm not sure whether the balance is quite right yet. Come on, tell me what's happened. Just everything, like, just... I've not got enough time. OK. You know, Josh, you are a leader in this school. But leaders are not always these people out there that are perfect that people think they are. It's a lot of pressure for Josh. We want him to be ready and resilient and mentally tough enough to, to be successful in life. And that doesn't mean wrapping him up in cotton wool or bubble wrap. It means helping him understand where he is, why he is where he is, and what he can do about it to make sure he can continue doing the things he loves and the things that he sees a real purpose behind. There's something exciting coming on the horizon. We want to have a head boy and a head girl at this school and we want somebody who could represent us properly. Somebody who could stand up there and represent this school brilliantly. Would that be something they'd be up for? It's just what I do with a title. Yeah, it is. Will you come in and ask me and talk to me if you need me? Yeah. You promise me? Look at me. Do you promise? I promise. And you can come in here and you can have a water, or you can have a tea or a coffee. You can do that whenever you want to. You sure you're going to be all right? Yeah. OK, thanks, Josh. Head boy. Imagine that. Hey? <laughs> oh, my goodness. See you later, Josh. Take care tonight. Hello, everyone. Hi, sir. Didn't want a polo? Sugar free. Well, then I will. Yeah, yeah please pass them around. No so. carbs in a polo. <laughs> it even stretches to polos, ladies. <laughs> Josh. Oh yes, he's a lovely. Yeah, boy. He's, a, he's a fantastic yeah. boy, but it's unusual for Josh to present that kind of thing. Yeah, it is. What I talked to him about, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. I said, you look at me and think I'm the head teacher. I do this, I do this. But I have to apologise to my five-year-old son at home because I'm grumpy at the weekends because yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Just because you're Josh, it doesn't mean you can't make mistakes. You're a young man. We, we, you're not a perfect person yeah. all the time. Oh, dear. So I'm just going to go outside now, see if I can drag up any more issues, and I'll bring those back <laughs> into you. Right?
Three and a half years ago, we had the prom yeah. and I confiscated a bottle of Aftershock and it's ready to be opened <laughs> one day yeah. when we have a really bad day. Have now, I ladies, been? if this is the day, <laughs> I'll see you in my office in about 15 minutes. We'll crack it open and anything could happen. <laughs> You know what your problem is? I am whooping your ass every single time. Oh, he's gone. Six four. Come on. It's eight thirty, and time for the boys to face Mr. Povey and his panel. How are you feeling? Excited. Any nerves? No, not really. No, no. Oh, strong. One two. Push, push. There we go. One two three. Okay, and time. All right. Battle. Here we go. I'm running for head bar. Good. I think I've just seen a smile on your face, so I'm happy. Yeah. I'm delighted for that. So we've got Josh. No, we've got Leon. That girl coming in. Hi, lad. Nerves. Good. Nerves are good. But what you don't do with your nerves, you don't let your nerves beat you, all right? Listen, all you need to do yet, if you don't know the answer to a question, all you have to say is, I'm just going to be myself because I think that I'm a good student and I try and do everything the right way. That's all you have to say. I don't, I can't. What do you mean? Why that? No! Why the hell I put that up, okay? <laughs> Listen, think about it. You only have to do this once. No, but, oh, so imagine you, if I no, get a question wrong. No, there's no wrong answer. Oh, the... I think Giran would be a great head boy. I think he's got the correct discipline, attitude. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I think that he'd be great for the job. Why is it you want to be? Head boy. Because I was trying to bring a change in the school because of, because of the discipline. There's not much of discipline in the school, especially in my class. They think they can do whatever they want. So it's about bringing some discipline on the students? Yes, sir. Yeah, OK. Uh, I do a lot of work in the community and I kind of understand how it works. So I kind of get, like, what sir does for the school and the students. I'm very confident at times, obviously, I'm a little bit too overconfident in some situations. Um, I could also bring in amazing leadership skills because I have been leading an entire student council body. <coughs> Thank you. OK, so if you were to become our head boy, what positive changes would you make? Positive changes? Set up like five main topics where it's like first aid, CV writing, public speaking, finances and another one. Wow, okie dokie. Like that, but... Uh, <sighs> I would make sure every concern from students would be resolved in some sort of way to make the students assured and say, you know, the school happy. The way you've expressed yourself today in this interview, very articulate and very confident. Yeah, definitely. What happens, sorry, can I ask me another question? What would happen if you didn't know an answer to a question that somebody asked you? OK, Giran, just as we kind of close this, are you still a firm candidate in going forward and being head boy? <sighs> I'm not sure. I, I'm like, not, uh, doesn't have that much confidence to go do that debate. You don't want to do the debate? Yeah. Yeah. OK. okay. And, and that's understandable. And I think there's many times in my own personal life where I've thought, this is not nice. This is something that I don't really want to have to go into. Just like you would when you're doing your boxing. To be honest, i just like to apologise, I can't be in part of it. Good. Can I just say to you, I would take the real positive that you were honest. Yeah. Honest with yourself and you had the strength within yourself to actually say what you believed. Yeah. A lot of people just go through life just saying yes, 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 and really worrying about things. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. OK, thank, thank you, you for your thank time. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, no, brave. That was brave. It was brave. I think you're comfortable with the decision. Yeah, yeah. So. I think you go in. I've made the right call. Oh, there. Yeah. Well done. Hold well on. All right. See you later, Giran. Yeah, so. With Giran out of the running, it leaves just Josh and Leon in the race for head boy. I'm going to just shake Leon's hand and say, well done. Best man win. Yes. Morning, girls. Morning, lads. Let's have a good one. 
It's the day of the head boy and head girl debate at Harrophold. Do you know people are voting for like, this is what I've been told, that like, they're voting for like Leon. Imagine you and Charles Hayes get it. I really want to. At the moment in Student Council, I have to work under Josh. He's the chair, I'm the vice chair. Sick and tired of working under him. This music is so like inspiring. I know, it's, it's really like intense though. You should all be so proud of yourself for everything you've achieved so far. You had the nerve to apply and you've got the nerve to stand here now in front of this group. Is it like in front of all the year? Oh yeah, your year group. You feel excitement. You also feel a bit nervous, but you've got all your peers with you. You're not alone in doing that. Everyone's like sticking behind you, sticking together. Enjoy every single moment. Good luck, everyone. I have quite a big ego that, you know, I just have to compete and win in everything. But if Josh gets the position of head boy, obviously my initial reaction will be uh, very upset. Are you going to win? I'll vote for Josh. This is how the voting's going to work. You are each going to be given a ballot paper that asks for your vote for head boy and head girl. You can only pick one for head boy and one for head girl. You will pop your vote in the golden bronzed box. Right, OK, year 10. Before I uh, say any more, I would like to just say well done to everyone that's been involved so far and the people who didn't get through the shortlisting, the high quality that came from this year group. So let's make sure we show respect to this process and let's get excited about who's going to represent Harrop Fold as head boy and head girl. Now, now hand over to Mr. Featherston. Thank you, sir. Hello and welcome to the big debate. This is your opportunity to tell the school what you will bring to this role. You know how this works. You've been prepped. So question number one. The question is, how can you show or prove to people that you're a proud member of Team Harrop? Josh? Uh, I can show I'm a proud uh, member of Team Harrop when I go to my student council meetings and I represent every single person in this year group. What changed you to decide, I am going to go for head boy? I want to make <laughs> really cringy because it's the school's motto, but I, I want to make the difference wherever it can be made. OK, thank you. Liam? I will make sure that I am a proud member by not doing anything by myself and what I feel like is necessary. I feel like you can all work as a team, so if you do have any uniform issues or life skill issues, then you could... Um, uh, you could ask me about it and then we can work together as a team and then I'll consult other students and say, is this a good idea? Do you think that will be beneficial for you? Teamwork is not about me working by myself, it's making sure that you are happy with what I'm doing as well and that you're working with me. OK. I can show you that I'm a proud member of Team Harrop by welcoming visitors to the school and inspiring others into making the difference, like Mr Pulvey always says. I think I can show that I'm a proud member of Team Harrop just by being stood here right now. Rebecca is a student who's very bright, she can sing, she's sporty, but I did think, is she going to have the confidence to stand up there and be able to deliver, deliver well and to win the young people over and the staff over? Like, if I wasn't full of masses of respect for both you guys and the staff at Harrop, I think that being stood here wanting to represent this school is my way of showing how proud I am to be a part of it. OK, thank you. Are there any questions that you'd like, you'd like to ask your candidates for Ed Boy or Ed Girl? Can you describe yourself in three words for me? Just three words, mate. Just three words. Better press you that one. Three words. I am motivated, determined and positive. I am ambitious, accessible and... friendly. Leon? Ambitious, overly confident and a team player. <laughs> Is that class of three words there? Over, I think overly confident dash. There's the dash there. They should be. We'll skirt over that one, Liam, but well done. Rebecca? Um, just like you. Oh. This is good. Are you OK, Leon? Yeah? I'm just glad she's on the girl's side. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You know, the brilliant thing about working in a school is the kids are going to surprise you, mostly to the positive. Every day they're going to do something that's brilliant, and that for me was one of those moments where you sit back and you go, wow. 
I am proud to be a representative of such a really good school. Now, we understand that it had some issues in the past, but where it's got to now and the development that it's received is something that I'm proud to be a representative of. Harrotford is a place for everyone to come. We don't leave nobody out. We always accept you, no matter what. If you have a problem, we can always sort it out. Big round of applause for those answers. That way, vote, vote, vote. Year 10. Just like you. Genius. Not a cat in hell's chance would I have been able to do that. Just no way. I certainly wouldn't have come up with the answers that they came out with at that age. I mean, whatever those young people want to be, they definitely can be. And for the other young people to see that taking place is quite aspirational too. It was brilliant to see it, and I think it was a big indicator for me about where the school is at the moment. Did you vote for me? Oh, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> Cheers, Harry. Sure, just grab a handful and take a tally each. Yeah. So tell me the people, the so, initials. LL. Yeah. JB. Yeah. RR. Yeah. RR. LL. RR. JB. CH. Yeah. JB. CH. LL. Yeah. RR. Yeah. Right. Seven. Yeah. 30. 40. 46. That is close. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hey, girl. 21. Yeah. 27. It's those two, isn't it? Yeah. They're the kind of students that people will go to and interact with. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Okay. And we've got the ties to hand over. Oh, that's Silver ties. Different, different tie. colour ties. Guys, all going on. We've been on it. Oh, my God. What are you like? I've done worse. Don't worry about it. I have a scarf that I just constantly use it for. Oh. Um, what a day. You, as a year group, have voted, and we've come to our final decision. So I'd like you, please, first of all, to give a big round of applause to our successful candidate for head girl, the first ever head girl in the 16-year history of Harrop Fold School. Big round of applause, please, for... Rebecca. <laughs> Just wait here for a minute. Be back. You want to say a few words at the end, OK? Absolutely fantastic. And now, so difficult to make that call. We discussed, we debated, and the first head boy ever at Harrop Fold School that will represent us and your year is Leon. One either side of us, please. Do you want to say any words? I would just like to say a massive thank you to the people who have believed in me. And I promise that I will repay you as best as I can by making sure that this school is the best school in the area and making sure that every single one of you are happy. I am no politician. Everything that I said there isn't going to be a lie. It's all truth. I am not going to let you down, I promise you that. I'm going to make sure that every single person knows that Harrop Fold is amazing and every single person knows that you are all amazing. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Rebecca. <laughs> well done to everybody. Well done. Hello. Hi, I have good news. Come on. I got head girl. Test. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's just absolutely brilliant. Love you, Mum. Oh, darling, I love you so much. To the moon and back again. <laughs> I'm going to have to go, but I'll see you later. All right, yeah, but well, don't forget, you still have to work hard in your lessons. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bye. Hello? Uh, Dad, I have some amazing news. Oh, yeah, go on. I got the role of head boy. Fantastic! <laughs> Did you do what I asked you to do? Yes, I was leading forwards, I was engaged, I answered every question, like, properly. Right, that's fantastic. Very proud of you, lad. Yeah, thank you. I'll be at your school about four o'clock. Well right. done, mate. Catch you later. OK, see ya. See you later, mate. Bye. Thank Bye. Bye. Right. Most importantly, well done. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let's go. <laughs> I think this is the best news I've had in a long time. Mm, I'm, I'm very happy. Oh, wow. Everyone says that their son and daughter's the best. But it's not me who's saying it. 
it's the school that's saying it. So go for it, keep going for it. And if you've got those ambitions and dreams, like any kid will have, just do it. Have a seat, Josh. And drink if you need it. I think you've done yourself proud throughout the whole process. You won't be head boy at this school, but you're representing young people's views in the whole of Salford, not just one school. Mm -hmm. So you have a bigger remit. Job without the title. Yeah. Don't stop doing what you're doing, Josh, because... Don't intend on. Because you have a huge role to play in Salford, and, by the way, a huge role to play in this school too. OK. It was good debate and stuff like that. And, and I know we was kind of rivals, but, you know, always, it's always going to happen when you're going in for a job interview. Josh, are you OK? It's OK. We'll catch up later. All right. I'm glad he got head boy. I think he's going to do really well in that position, and I'm glad that he won. Miss, cos I didn't, like, get the head girl, I was a bit upset about not getting it. But I was wondering if I could, like, help out in parents' evening and all that. Okay. What do you want me to do? We'll probably be given our time tables, yeah. as usual. You can sit with us and find the information if it's parents. Yeah. We could do with writing down how many people are with that I person who's come. Yeah. So that would be brilliant if you could do that yeah. as well. Sure. Right, Thanks, nice. Miss. I had like a 50-50 chance. I knew that I might have got it, but when I entered the room to get the results, I thought, no, I didn't. I haven't got it. Cos it was Rebecca. She got it. But I'm happy for her. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just sign up for the senior watch. And you'll get that easy, honestly. You did so, so well in that debate. If you go for something, and you can't get it, just never think you can never do anything. You can always go for something new. It's like if you if you can't swim for the first time ever and then you overcome that and you practice and you practice more, you can achieve that and you become an Olympic and get loads of medals. Is anything going to stop you, Chelsea? No. Very confident. And she only got pipped. Even, even Mr Povey said, look, I'm sorry, Chelsea, you're so, so close. But you've got senior prefect, which to me is just as good. Little badge is it, different colour tie. So look who I am. Alright. Josh, you were really good. Well done, Josh. Do you want to go? That's Liam. Alright. <laughs> Not awkward there at all. <laughs> nothing awkward about that. There's nothing to be awkward about. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. You know what? Cheers. You did very well. I'm lucky to have the role over you. No, there's things we can learn from each other anyway. So. I thought you had it in the bag. Genuinely did. To be honest, I did. <laughs> Let's face it, both each other's wingmen, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Just makes us even now. <laughs> Next time. So everyone's got a training strike. This is the Snapchat revolution. I hate social media. She's clearly talking about me. Didn't mention your name, so why is this my seat to your face? Right, Shannon, out of the lesson <laughs> now, please. It causes some trouble. Well, it's just something I've sold on Snapchat. Do you want to tell me? I want to go home.